Hi, I'm Hayley. I'm a visual arts teacher and an art educator. In this presentation, I'm going to step you through how to create a basic Nearpod lesson. I'm going to use portraiture as the theme for my lesson, but of course you can choose any topic or theme you wish. So you can access Nearpod just by opening your browser, web browser, either with an iPad or on a computer and just typing in nearpod.com. Then of course you just need to log in. You can get a free trial, um, of course, if you wish to. Let's check out what Nearpod can do. So this is what your Nearpod interface will look like. I'm in my folder, it's called test, and I'm actually just going to hit the lesson in Nearpod function to create my lesson. So I tap on that and I'm going to just, first of all, give it a title, in this case, portraits. And then what I'm going to do is add my first slide. My first slide is just content and it's just going to be a basic slide giving an overview. So I'm going to hit the slide button and I'm then going to change the layout slightly. So I just want two content items plus the title. My title is just going to be the learning intention. So we are learning to create more realistic portraits using guides. So this just gives the students an overview. What I'm then going to do is just give them uh, a brief rundown of what they can expect in the lesson. Okay, so I've outlined what the students will be doing today. I can use bullet points. I can change the size of the font as well. Here, I'm actually going to upload a visual image. I'm going to go to upload files to do this. And here are some of the images that I can choose from. And I'm going to save and exit this file. The next file that I'm going to add is a video tutorial. So I'm going to go to add slide and I'm going to go to add web content. This is actually a video I found on ABC Education and I am just going to pop in the URL and I would suggest you test this link. You never know, it may not go through your school's systems and then you can press save. Now the third slide I'm going to add, I'm actually going to add an activity. This is just going to be a really quick drawing activity that I want just to engage the kids in doing a quick sketch. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to give brief instructions, obviously make them as detailed as you need to. So draw a quick sketch. I can actually put a timer on this as well. I'm going to give them two minutes to do this. And I'm actually going to add a reference here as well. So how to draw a face. I'm going to search and just pop in a simple guide to do that. The other really great function is you can actually add a background image as well. And I'm just going to show you quickly how to do that. So once again, I'm going to search the web, face template. This is really great if you have students that really might struggle and just want a little bit of a starter. Okay, I'm going to save and exit. The next slide that I added was just a basic drawing lesson overview. What I like to do with Nearpod is I like to combine it with a practical activity as well. So this is just the overview of actually what I want them to do. The next slide that I want to put in is obviously once they've finished that practical activity, I'm going to add another slide so that they can take a picture of what they have done and post that back to me. So I go into add activity and I am going to go into the draw it function again. What will happen with the draw it function is they will actually be able to upload their own image instead of adding a drawing. So I'm going to ask them, please add a picture of your work. And I'm gonna press save. Nearpod's also really great to get student feedback. So I like to add a question at the end, just asking for their feedback. So my question here would be, how do you think you went with your drawing? And 
I like to also add a little reference. I'm going to go to two stars and a wish and actually just give them a little bit of a prompt on how to reflect on their work. The other great thing about this feature is you can actually enable student audio recordings. So this is really, really great for those students that really find it hard to actually write their responses. So I'm actually going to um, turn that function on and I'm going to save that page. The last slide that I'm going to put on is just a little bit of support for students that maybe need um, some extra help. So I'm going to just put on a YouTube clip here. So I'm just going to go to add video and I'm going to search YouTube for how to draw noses. The great thing about embedding YouTube clips onto Nearpod is you really are just getting the YouTube clip. They won't get any of the advertising material. Select and save. Okay, that's all of my videos now. Uh, my first slide is just an overview. My second slide is a video guide. My third slide is just a basic quick warm up, draw it activity. Um, my fourth slide is an overview of the actual practical art lesson. So this directs the student to then go away to get some paper, some drawing materials, create their own sketch. And then what I've asked the students to do in slide five is actually take a photograph of their work and send it back to me. Slide six gives them an opportunity to reflect on their work and provide me some feedback. And the last slide is just a quick video um, just to give some support or maybe some extension to other students. And we need to save and exit. I am going to um, highlight the grade level and what it's for, and I'm going to save and exit. So here you can see my presentation. I can preview my presentation as well, just to see how it all fits together. Um, you can launch it as a live lesson. This is a particularly great in the classroom if you want to pace the students through. If you're using it more for a home delivery system, then definitely go to the student paste option click on and it will give you a code. This is the code that you need to give to the students. So what I do is I just copy and paste this, I send it to the students, I put it on a blog, and then they can access Nearpod using the online version, which I'm gonna show you now how students will see this interface. Okay, so this is what Nearpod will look like for students. It's exactly the same as when you log on as a teacher except the student won't press the login button, they will just enter the code that you've given them. In this case, it was Y-G-H-S-J. And then they just press go. They will see this welcome page. Um, and they just need to basically give a name and just which year level they are in. So let's say year five and join session. Now what you're going to see is you're going to see the um, learning intentions that we created and students just will navigate through this. Here is the ABC video that we uploaded, um, which the students can watch. Here is our drawing activity that we have a two minute timer on and I am just going to start drawing. So here are all your drawing tools and I'm just going to quickly make a sketch of somebody's face. And then I just need to press submit. Now here is the outline of the drawing lesson that we had. So now the student will go away and they will create their drawing. Once they're finished, they're gonna come back and they are going to need to add a picture. So down on the screen here, you will see um, the tools that you can use to uh, create the drawings, but also there is a button to add pictures. Now you can browse your files or you can go to take a photograph. I'm just going to take a photograph of my artwork for the teacher to see. I'm going to use that photo. Um, you can rotate it, um, you can make it bigger. Um, there are lots of different options. You can even add some text to annotate as well. So I'm just going to add a little bit of text here. I think I did well. And then all you need to do is press submit. Now here's the open-ended question asking me to give some feedback. I'm gonna click on this. Okay, what did I really like? 
and then I can go back to the screen and I can type my answer. I did well. Okay, and I'm going to submit. Here you'll see the YouTube clip. Um, as you can see, there aren't any ads. I can just press play. Do you want to know how to draw a realistic nose? So there you go. That is how students will interact um, with the Nearpod interface. Okay, the last thing I actually want to show you is just how you're going to retrieve that data once the students have finished with their online or class-based lesson. So you just come down here to the side panel and you just go to the section that says reports. We're going to click on the lesson that we did today, which was portraits. And we can see that one student has actually participated in that session. And we're going to get the data from that. Here is the um, level of participation, the participation in all of the different forms. So we had some open-ended questions. This was my response. I enjoyed it. I did well. We had two drawer activities. Uh, the first one was uh, the uh, quick drawing session and the other one was the uh, pencil drawing that students did um, outside of Nearpod and then photographed. So that's pretty much it really for Nearpod. You can actually download this in other forms as well. The CSV file is great if you want to import the data into Excel. Um, and it will also give you a file of all of the students' pictures as well. And each file will be named with their name. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, there'll be more uh, about Nearpod to follow.